It is a common misconception that modern society represents the pinnacle of human achievement, with technology being perceived as a recent development. However, historical societies were often far more innovative than we give them credit for. They not only created technologies that continue to be utilized today, but also devised inventions that still baffle us. Here are 15 ancient technologies that perplex scientists and remain unexplained to this day. Number 15. The Vajra. Let's begin by unveiling the secrets of the Vajra, a sacred Buddhist tool that packs a mighty punch. Imagine holding in your hands a weighty clump of solid brass or bronze, adorned with four prongs on each end, delicately curling into the shape of a lotus bud. This unassuming object, if wielded as a weapon, could cause some serious damage. But the story behind it is such an interesting one that will make you pause and contemplate the possibilities. Legends and fables surround the Vajra, whispering tales of its extraordinary powers, a power said to be the summoning of electricity. Despite the countless accounts of its electrifying potential, no one in recent times has been able to tap into this power. The stories remain suspended in the air like a myth, leaving us to question their validity. Are they merely fanciful tales spun to captivate our imaginations? Or could it be that we, in our modern age, lack the understanding to unravel the secrets of this ancient tool? The Vajra, the most significant ritual implement of Vajrayana Buddhism, carries a profound meaning that stretches back to the depths of antiquity. In the Sanskrit language, the word Vajra signifies something hard or mighty, much like the strength and brilliance of a diamond. It serves as a symbol of an impenetrable, immovable, and indestructible state of knowledge and enlightenment. This essence is beautifully captured in the Vajra's form and purpose. To unravel the origins of the Vajra, we must journey back to ancient India, where its story begins. In those distant times, the Vajra held a significantly different role. It emerged as the primary weapon of Indra, the Vedic sky god and king of the Devas. According to the Hindu Puranas, a tale unfolds of two malevolent asuras, Namuchi and Vritra, who had stripped the earth of its light and moisture, rendering it inhospitable to all living beings. Indra valiantly battled these demon gods, but found himself unable to overcome their might. In a desperate plea for assistance, he turned to the supreme god Vishnu, beseeching him for aid. Vishnu revealed that only a weapon possessing neither solidity nor liquidity could vanquish Namuchi and Vritra. To fulfill this divine requirement, Vishnu enlisted the expertise of the celestial carpenter Tvashta to fashion a magnificent weapon for Indra, the Vajra. This extraordinary weapon, the Vajra, emitted thunderbolts, crackling with unparalleled power. Empowered by this divine tool, Indra unleashed his wrath upon Namuchi and Vritra, annihilating them and restoring the much-needed light and moisture to the earth. The Rigveda, an ancient sacred text, vividly describes this epic conflict. Number 13. The Greek Fire. Here is the most dangerous weapon known to fighters throughout history. From flamethrowers to Molotov cocktails, fire has always had a fearsome reputation on the battlefield. But what if you find out that the Greeks, those cunning masterminds, discovered a new way to wield this fiery force? Introducing Greek Fire, a weapon so ingenious that it would make even the most seasoned warriors tremble. It was developed and employed by the Byzantine Empire for over 700 years. Greek fire was the ancient Greek equivalent of napalm. When the Greeks found themselves in the heat of battle, they would throw these uniquely shaped grenades at their enemies. And once ignited, the flames would cling to their targets like an unyielding grip. Another shocking truth lies here. These flames were impossible to extinguish with water. Yes, you heard it right. Greek fire burned just as fiercely on top of water as it did on land. Now, before you start scratching your heads and questioning the laws of physics, hear this. Scientists have been left dumbfounded. They have yet to find a credible explanation for this fiery phenomenon. Water is supposed to douse flames, not fuel them. Yet Greek fire defied all logic and reason. It was a weapon wholly immersed in mystery, its secret locked away like the treasure of a long-forgotten empire. Number 12. The Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript is like the final brain teaser that has stumped scholars for centuries. This mystery was written way back in Central Europe around 600 years ago. But here's the kicker. Nobody has a clue what those pages say. It's like a secret language wrapped in a looped alphabet. Every year, a bunch of experts come forward with their grand translations, trying to crack the code. But guess what? None of them stick. It's like throwing spaghetti at a wall and hoping it sticks. Some folks even think the words might be Hebrew, but even then, they could only match about 80% of them. 
And to top it all off, the sentences that came out of that translation attempt were as wacky as a circus on roller skates. Incoherent is not even a better way to describe the meaning. What about the visuals in this crazy manuscript? You won't believe what you'll find in there. As you flip through the pages, you'll suddenly bump into a line drawing of a bath. This bath is surrounded by pipes and filled with women. The next few pages are like a trip down the rabbit hole, with more women in bizarre and surreal scenarios. And all of this is accompanied by some seriously strange text that turns out to be complete gibberish. Now, despite all the confusion and the fact that nobody has cracked the code yet, experts are pretty darn sure this book is not some elaborate prank. They swear it's the real deal, but they just can't make heads or tails of it. It's like the world's most frustrating puzzle, and we're all waiting for the day when someone finally figures out what the heck this Voynich manuscript is all about. And hey, maybe when that day comes, we'll even get an audiobook version of it. Number 11. The Hypogeum of Hal Safliani Let's talk about the Hypogeum of Hal Safliani. This mind-blowing underground structure was accidentally discovered by construction workers back in 1902. And when archaeologists got a good look at it, they were absolutely floored by its awesomeness. Seriously, this place is something else. This stunning hypogeum was carved out of limestone and served as a sanctuary before it was turned into a necropolis. Did you know that it is the only known underground structure from the Bronze Age? Wrap your head around that for a moment. We're talking about a structure that was constructed over 5,000 years ago. That's older than your great-great-great-great-great-grandma. Among all the incredible rooms in the hypogeum, there's one that caught the attention of researchers. The Oracle Chamber. This room has some seriously unbelievable acoustic properties. You see, any sound created inside the oracle room gets amplified a hundredfold. And it doesn't stop there. If someone utters a few words inside that chamber, those words can be heard throughout the entire structure. It's like a built-in sound system from ancient times. That's kinda unreal. Amidst these mind-blowing features, the big question is whether these acoustic properties were intentional or just a lucky accident. Some archaeologists believe that the room may have been used as an oracle, where people sought guidance and answers. But whether the sound enhancement was part of the grand design or a fortunate coincidence, well, that's still up for debate. The Hypogeum of Hal Safliani continues to be studied, and there's still so much we don't know about it. But one thing's for sure, it has proven the remarkable capabilities of our ancestors and their ability to create awe-inspiring structures that leave us in perplexity even to this day. Number 10. The ruins of Yanmen Shan Mountain. This place is shrouded in mystery because it's the site of a huge stone that has been the talk of the town for decades. Back in 1405 AD, the emperor's son had this grand idea of building a massive commemorative monument called a steel for the Ming Xiaoling Mausoleum. And guess where he decided to get the material from? The Yangshan Quarry, right there on the mountain. The workers in the quarry soon realized that the stones they were cutting and transporting were way too big for the construction project. Like we are talking about rocks that were over 70 meters tall and weighed over 30,000 tons. That's like trying to move a whole mountain. So what did the workers do? Well, they ended up abandoning the entire project, leaving behind these massive rocks with missing chunks. Today, archaeologists are scratching their heads trying to figure out how in the world those ancient workers thought they could cut and move stones of such colossal size. For comparison, the largest monolith in the ancient and modern worlds is the Thunderstone in Russia, weighing about 1,250 tons. Nobody knows exactly how those ancient people managed to accomplish such a feat. Some people even speculate that they had a little help from something or someone. The thing that puzzles researchers is the lack of documentation about this supposed failed construction. This is because the ancient Chinese were known for documenting almost everything. But when it comes to this particular project, there's very little to no writing about it making it look like a historical black hole or something. So the Yangshan Quarry remains an enigma, leaving us with more questions than answers. How did they move those massive stones? Did they have some secret technique? Or was there some supernatural force at play? We may never know for sure, but one thing's for certain. It's a charming piece of history that continues to baffle and intrigue us to this day. Number 9. The Antikythera Mechanism Do you know that the ancient Greeks had true technological innovations that were absolutely mind-blowing? One prime example is the Antikythera Mechanism, which is often referred to as one of the earliest computers ever discovered. It all started in the year 1900, when a group of sponge divers in the Mediterranean was forced off their usual route due to a storm. As fate would have it, 
they stumbled upon a hidden treasure off the coast of the island of Antikythera. This small island happens to sit right in the middle of a maritime corridor, and there, lying in a sunken shipwreck, were hundreds of priceless Greek antiques just waiting to be discovered. The divers wasted no time and began investigating these unusual objects. Among the finds, the most notable was a bronze piece encrusted with debris. It didn't look like much at first, but after eight months of examination, it was revealed to be a complex device made up of over 30 gear wheels. And that's when the world realized they had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. However, despite extensive research and numerous scientific investigations, this was a device that we wouldn't see again for another 2,000 years. The purpose of the Antikythera mechanism remains a mystery. Scientists have been unable to crack its exact function, leaving us to wonder what it was used for. It's worth noting that this device is considered the most advanced piece of technology of its time, showcasing the incredible ingenuity of the ancient Greeks. Various experiments and analyses have been conducted on the Antikythera mechanism, but so far, no definitive answers have emerged. It seems that whatever its purpose, it has remained elusive, refusing to reveal its secrets to us. It's a testament to the complexity and sophistication of ancient Greek technology, but it also serves as a reminder that there are still mysteries from the past that continue to intrigue and elude our understanding. Number 8. Ancient Earthquake Detector Indeed, the invention of seismographs or earthquake detectors was of great importance especially in regions prone to devastating earthquakes like remote areas of China. One notable early example of an earthquake detector is Zhang Heng's seismoscope, which dates back to 132 AD. Zhang Heng's seismoscope was a remarkable device, consisting of a large bronze vessel resembling a sum over six feet in diameter. The exterior of the barrel was adorned with eight dragons, each snaking face down and marking the primary compass directions. Each dragon's mouth held a small bronze ball, and below their mouths were eight copper toads with upraised mouths. The exact mechanism by which the seismoscope detected earthquakes is not fully understood. One theory suggests that a thin stick was loosely set down the center of the barrel. During an earthquake, the shaking would cause the stick to topple in the direction of the seismic shock, triggering one of the dragons to open its mouth and release the bronze ball. The sound of the ball striking one of the eight toads would then serve as an alert to observers, indicating the occurrence of an earthquake and providing a rough indication of its direction of origin. Unfortunately, Zhang Heng's original seismoscope has been lost to history. However, replicas of the device exist, including one in the Museum of Chinese History in Beijing and another in an exhibit at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, California. The seismoscope invented by Zhang Heng was a remarkable achievement, demonstrating the ancient Chinese's understanding of the importance of monitoring and predicting earthquakes. The Chinese viewed earthquakes as significant celestial signs that needed to be carefully observed, hence their dedication to creating such an impressively constructed monitoring tool. Number 7. The Ulfbert Sword The Ulfbert Swords are indeed fascinating and unique weapons from the medieval period. They were forged from high-carbon crucible steel, which gave them superior qualities compared to other swords of the time. Ulfbert swords were lightweight, durable, and had a longer-lasting sharp edge. These characteristics made them highly effective in battle and potentially contributed to the Vikings' success in conquest. The process of creating crucible steel involves purifying iron and removing impurities to create a stronger material. While there are theories suggesting that the Vikings or a nearby Frankish kingdom developed this technology independently, it is more likely that they acquired the steel or the knowledge of its production from regions like India, Persia, and Central Asia, where crucible steel was more commonly made. The Ulfbert swords are named after the distinctive inscription found on the blades, which reads, Ulfbert. Around 170 swords with this inscription have been recovered from various archaeological sites dating back to the 9th and 10th centuries. The origin and meaning of the name Ulfbert remains a subject of debate and speculation among researchers. Despite extensive study, the production techniques used to create the Ulfbert swords remain a mystery. The quality of the steel used in these swords was so advanced that it seemed almost impossible for such weapons to exist before the Industrial Revolution. Researchers continue to explore and investigate these swords to unravel their secrets and gain a deeper understanding of their production methods. While the Ulfbert swords continue to amaze archaeologists and historians, their origins and the technology behind them remain a fascinating riddle. Number 6. The Lycurgus Cup The Lycurgus Cup, 
a 1,600-year-old Roman chalice, is indeed a remarkable example of ancient nanotechnology. This cup appears jade green when lit from the front, but transforms to a vivid blood-red color when lit from behind. The color-changing property of the cup puzzled scientists until 1990, when a research team in England analyzed it and discovered the ingenious use of nanotechnology by the artisans who created it. The Romans infused the glass of the chalice with small particles of silver and gold, which were extremely tiny, less than one thousandth the size of a grain of table salt. This deliberate incorporation of nanoparticles enabled the cup to exhibit its unique optical properties. The interaction between light and the nanoparticles caused the color change observed in the cup. Researchers believe that the Romans were intentional in their use of nanotechnology when crafting the Lycurgus cup. The precision and understanding required to achieve such an effect suggest that they had a sophisticated grasp of the materials and processes involved. This ancient example of nanotechnology has inspired contemporary researchers who speculate that it could potentially be applied in the development of handheld devices for detecting pathogens in people's saliva. It is exciting to see how ancient technologies continue to inspire and influence modern inventors. Today's subscriber's pick zooms into a mysterious sword. This is known as the Sword of Gujian, discovered in a Chinese tomb after being buried for over 2,000 years. Despite the passage of time, this extraordinary weapon remained pristine with blades still as sharp as ever. How did ancient craftsmen achieve such remarkable longevity and exceptional craftsmanship? The answer is hidden in secrets so deep that even our scientists are scratching their heads in bewilderment. But what if you know that the sword of Gujian is just the beginning? Countless other ancient technological marvels are waiting to be explored. From the mystifying Antikythera mechanism, an ancient Greek astronomical device, to the astonishing Phaistoic disc. Now here's where you come in. We want to hear from you. Which revelation about ancient technologies intrigues you the most? Are you drawn to the mysterious stone spheres of Costa Rica, the groundbreaking inventions of the ancient Indian civilization, or perhaps the secrets hidden within the intricate designs of ancient seismographs? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. The Phaistos Disc Here is an ancient typewriter called the Phaistos Disc. It is an elaborate clay disc that was discovered in 1908 at the Minoan Palace of Phaistos. It is believed to date back to the Middle or Late Minoan Bronze Age, approximately 4,000 years ago. The purpose and meaning of the disc have remained a mystery, intriguing researchers ever since its discovery. The creation of the disc itself is still not fully understood. Experts speculate that metal stamps or dyes were used to imprint the symbols on the disc. After stamping the designs, the disc was baked at a high temperature, which sealed the material and the symbols. This method of production is highly unusual and was not used until about 600 years ago, making the creation of the Phaistos disc remarkably ahead of its time. Each symbol on the disc was individually stamped, suggesting the creation of more than 200 metal stamps. No other discs with similar symbols have been found in the area, and no metal stamps with the strange symbols have been discovered at the site either. This has led to speculation that additional discs may have existed, but have yet to be found. The purpose and meaning of the Phaistos disc remains a subject of debate among researchers. Some believe that it may have served as an ancient typewriter, while others propose that it contains a song, poem, or ritual of some sort. The disc is believed to be of Cretan origin and is written in a version of the Minoan language that dates back to 1850 to 1550 BC. As researchers continue to study the Phaistos disc and make advancements in deciphering ancient scripts and languages, there is hope that one day we may uncover the true purpose and message behind the intriguing symbols on this ancient artifact. Number 4. The Flying Machine the concept of ancient flying machines known as vimanas in Indian texts is indeed intriguing and has captured the imagination of many. In Sanskrit epics and Hindu texts, vimanas are often depicted as flying chariots or palaces that are used by gods to fight against evil forces. These descriptions provide detailed instructions on how to operate and fly these machines, suggesting that they were considered real and functional in ancient times. According to some accounts, Vimanas possessed remarkable capabilities, such as the ability to travel long distances in short periods and launch powerful attacks. There are even mentions of sound-capturing devices that allowed pilots to eavesdrop on enemy aircraft. However, it is important to note that these descriptions are found in ancient mythological and literary works, and their literal interpretation as historical accounts is a matter of debate among scholars. To date, 
No physical evidence of ancient Vimanas has been discovered. This has led to various interpretations and theories regarding their existence. Some speculate that the descriptions of Vimanas may be symbolic or allegorical representations of advanced knowledge or spiritual concepts. Others propose the possibility of encounters with beings possessing advanced technology, including extraterrestrial or time-traveling entities. Number 3. The Ancient Indian Physician Sushruta an ancient Indian physician and surgeon, is indeed recognized for his remarkable contributions to the field of surgery over 2,000 years ago. He is considered one of the pioneers of plastic surgery and documented his techniques and instruments in his work known as the Sushruta Samhita. Sushruta performed various surgical procedures, including intricate cataract surgeries and rhinoplasty, which involved reconstructing the nose. His methods for rhinoplasty were ahead of his time, especially considering the limited resources and lack of advanced tools and medicines available during that era. To perform rhinoplasty, Sushruta relied on natural materials and medicinal plants. He used leaves, castor oil plants, licorice powder, red sandalwood, barberry plants, and sesame oil. These substances served as his surgical tools and aids, showcasing his resourcefulness and ingenuity. In addition to his surgical accomplishments, Sushruta also wrote about other medical practices. He described the use of wine as an anesthetic agent and the application of leeches to prevent blood clotting and wounds. These contributions highlight his holistic approach to medicine and his understanding of various aspects of healthcare. Sushruta's work and techniques have stood the test of time, and he is still revered as one of the greatest ancient physicians and surgeons. His achievements paved the way for advancements in the field of surgery and continue to inspire medical professionals today. The development of modern tools, techniques, and medicines has revolutionized the field and allowed for more sophisticated and successful surgical procedures. We owe a debt of gratitude to pioneers like Sushruta, for their immense skill and brilliance, which laid the foundation for the medical advancements we enjoy today. Number 2. Nuclear Weapons The idea that nuclear weapons may have existed in ancient times is a topic that has been explored by some conspiracy theorists, but it is important to approach these claims with a critical mindset and consider the available evidence. The notion that ancient Indian texts describe devastating explosions brighter than a thousand suns is often cited as evidence supporting the theory of ancient nuclear weapons. However, it is crucial to interpret these texts within their historical and cultural context. The descriptions may be metaphorical or symbolic, rather than literal accounts of nuclear explosions. Regarding the unusual skeletal remains from 1927 with high levels of radiation, it is worth noting that radiation can come from various sources, including natural ones. While the presence of radiation in these remains raises questions, it does not necessarily provide conclusive evidence of an ancient nuclear attack. Further scientific analysis and investigation would be required to determine the true cause of the radiation. The scientific consensus is that nuclear weapons, as we understand them today, were developed in the 20th century. The first successful test of an atomic bomb occurred in 1945 during the Manhattan Project. The technology and understanding required to create such weapons were not available in ancient times. While the idea of ancient nuclear weapons may be intriguing, the current understanding among experts is that nuclear weapons are a modern invention. Number 1. The Stone Spheres of Costa Rica The Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, commonly referred to as the Costa Rica Balls, are indeed a fascinating archaeological phenomenon. These spherical stones have been discovered in various locations in Costa Rica and have captured the curiosity and intrigue of researchers and locals alike. The Stone Spheres vary in size, ranging from a few centimeters in diameter to as large as two meters wide and weighing up to 16 tons. Their precise purpose and origin remain a subject of debate and speculation among archaeologists. While some theories suggest that the spheres were crafted between 200 BC and 1600 CE by ancient indigenous cultures in the region, the exact methods and tools used in their creation are not well understood. Additionally, the reason behind their varying sizes and the purpose they served in the past remain uncertain. Despite extensive research and investigation, including up-close examination and testing, there is no conclusive evidence regarding the specific cultural or historical significance of the stone spheres. While there are local myths and legends surrounding the balls, they have not been substantiated by historical records or archaeological findings. The stone spheres of Costa Rica continue to be a source of intrigue and fascination, representing an ancient enigma that has yet to be fully deciphered. 
They serve as a unique and visually captivating feature in the landscape, attracting visitors and sparking curiosity about their origins and significance. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.